everybody, my name is Leonardo and in this video I'm gonna explain how to transfer users between devices, between software and device, between device and software, enrolling a user directly by a UBO reader or UBIO. <laughs> uh, well, this is the main software, cross-check standard. I'm already at the device column, so let's come back to the to the main screen of the software coming to device. And here I have two devices and a UBIO reader. So I will add the first one. Um, yeah, my first one is a C2 Pro device ID number one. And his IP is 220 at the end. This is pre-configured, pre okay? So let's check the communication. I guess the, it's the IP210. Maybe that's why it's not correct. Let's modify in 210. Okay. All right. Here the device is online. So I will synchronize the time to check if it's okay it's working fine so the first device is already connected i had a little delay on my network nothing to worry about and the next one will be the t60 another device i have i could just enroll automatically by here but i will use the left side and add the device here it's already with the ip and add the second device permission for all the administrators all the, all, all the users of the software and let me see his information yeah okay so both devices are clean in other words they don't have users so the first thing now is to enroll a user i'm going to enroll a user on the user screen of the software and let's enroll myself i could put a card number, I could put a password, I could put a, a picture for this user if I want as a reference for my software, but the only thing I need now is to enroll a fingerprint template. I have also a UB reader in my USB host, so I will choose this one and just enroll my finger. I will press the finger, remove, press the same finger again, and I have the template successfully enrolled. Very simple. If I wanted to enroll another fingerprint for this user, I would just need to click and enroll again and put another finger in the sensor and make the same procedure. Let's save. I don't wanna add no any user else. So I already have my user basic information just for this test, for these references. And I can see that the square of fingerprint number one is green. What it means that the database of my software already has this information. So if I want to transfer this user for the devices I have, I just need to select them or one or the other or both. It depends on my requirement and set privilege. Here is where I am going to transfer this user from my software for the devices so as example I will transfer just for device number one and that's it let's check yeah the user number is here the template number is here I will make a quick test just to check Access all right let me share with you the test in real time. So I'll place my finger again. And that's it. It will show again my fingerprint event on the software. This one right now. So let's stop the real time just for testing. And now I'm going to transfer this same user to the other device. So I can see here in this column, device column, that this user already have 
the authorization to use the device number one but let's now do the opposite let's select both because I want him in both devices and that's it let's check the column all right and in the second device I also have this template I will check in the device now just for my reference yeah it's working uh, let me tell you let me show to you the second device it's already here the, the first test I did and I will put my finger once more okay. I can see here the second device the same user my fingerprint was the identification I use it and it's working fine now I want to delete this user I have two options I can delete this user, this user from my software or from my devices so the first thing I'm going to do is to delete this user from my software. I will select this user. Very uh, precaution with this because if I delete only from my software, the user will still in the memory of my devices. Okay, so I select the user here and delete. I have two buttons here: delete from device and delete from my software. But as a security option I have also this square to select are you sure to delete the user selected delete users from the selected devices in this case no I will delete just from my software not from the device then I don't have any user here anymore but in the memory of the devices the user is already still there So now I'm going to do the opposite. I will transfer the user from the memory of the device to my software. Let's use device number two as reference. I select it and I will download user. Here I have some arrows. The arrows uh, showing the down side represents from device to software. And the arrows on the opposite side, upside, it's from the software to the devices so I will download the user from this device that is selected I have him here but take a look there is no template marked here because I just downloaded the user the text text information name card number if there was one there uh, device ID sorry user ID and the other things that are text when I selected this user, I just need now to download the template. I select him again and use the button download template. And the template is here. All right. That's it. So these are basic tests to transfer users from device to software, from software to the device. It's very simple to manage it. If I have more users, I would just have to select them and transfer them together. Let's make the test with another user. I will put another user just with a symbolic card number, just for reference, okay? And save him. I don't want to add any user anymore. So I have here a test with a card number. I can select them and set privilege. Let's use device number two to check the difference again why not uh, so he's already there and here I have two users with one template for the user number one and one card for the user number two very simple so guys if you have any questions if you have comments suggestions please let me know at the comment bars uh, this was to seems to be a, a short video, but I have plans to create more short videos with tests, with configuration. So uh, it won't be so much information at the same video. It would be easier for the users to uh, search what they really want. So uh, I will try to make more videos in English. I have this requirement 
and let's keep up with the the next videos i ask you guys to subscribe this channel to stay updated with all the information we are going to share with the following days and weeks and that's it guys thank you very much for your attention appreciate you and bye bye